Hi, Jeremy. Hi. Nice to see you again. Um, as a reminder, my name is Dr. B. Uh, it looks like you're here for your yearly uh, appointment to check out the neck, chest, and arms. Is that correct? The yeah. upper body exam? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Can you just confirm your name and date of birth for me? I'm Jeremy11. Perfect. Thank you so much. So, as I remember last time we did an exam and looked at this um, part of your body, you were just having a little bit of um, tightness in the chest, a little bit of um, soreness, uh, maybe from coughing. I think you had previously just been sick, right? Yeah. Okay, has that improved? Um, it has, yeah. Okay, perfect. So, no residual um, coughing or uh, issues with that pain, correct? No. Any other changes we should know about? Um, no. Okay. So what this exam is going to entail is me just taking a really close look at your neck, especially um, the breathing in the neck, um, the way that uh, the veins are working, making sure that there's enough blood circulation um, throughout the body, um, but primarily the upper torso, as well as checking out the arms, the joints. Um, we're really looking for anything that could be screaming um, a pulmonary issue, cardiac issue, anything like that. Uh, and of course, doing a full exam of the chest as well. Um, so just let me know if you have any questions, but otherwise I'm going to go ahead and take some of your vital signs, all right? Okay. So I want to start out with your blood pressure. Uh, do you mind if we use this arm? Is mm -hmm. that okay? Yeah. I'm going to place it exactly right there. Okay, just relax your arm for me, please. You've had your blood pressure taken before, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know it'll be a little bit of tightening in the cup but it shouldn't be too uncomfortable. So just relax for me. Okay, I just did a few tests there just to See, but it looks like that's normal. We got 118 over 73. 18 over 73. I'm just going to be um, taking a listen to the pulses now. So just breathe normally for me. Okay. Good, I'm gonna listen to those now with my stethoscope. It's just a little bit cool here. I'm just going to disinfect it here. Okay, again. Just listening, breathe normally. Okay, now I want you to take a deep breath in, blow it out, and just hold it for one moment. Okay, breathe normally. No burries, no. I'm going to move down to the arms, the pulses here in the arms, so just relax them for me. Nice and strong, two plus. The same thing where I listen. 
can just uncross for me. Thank you. You flip your hands over so I can see the back of them. I'm just going to feel here. That feels even as well. Could you just roll up your sleeves? I just want to feel the temperature of the arms. Just looking for any difference, specifically between the hands and the arms, to make sure there's no major differences. And I think it feels pretty similar. I'm also going to feel the temperature up here in the neck and into the chest. Again, nice and warm, dry. Moving on, to listen to the heart. So again, no, no need to breathe any differently. I'm just gonna be listening a couple places here. discomfort when I press on you like that. Okay. It all sounds great. So no fluttering. Normal rhythm. Exactly what we want to see. going to start looking at the chest now and the lung functions. Um, my biggest concern is that that pain that you were experiencing before, making sure we can't elicit that um, under the surface at all. So you'll feel a little tap. It shouldn't be enough to hurt you, um, but you should be able to tell if there's any pain or discomfort. Um, so just uh, let me know if any of this bothers you. Does it feel more than just like a little tap? Uh, no. I'm just going to continue throughout the whole chest. Especially in that sternum area, I'm concerned about anything there. No. Okay, great. pulsations, bruising, anything like that. I'm going to put my hands on you and I want you to say 99, okay? 99, 99, 99. Put your arms to the side. 99, 99. Okay, and relax. Same thing, you're just going to feel me doing a little bit of tapping. This time I'm not looking for pain, I'm listening for the sound that it makes. Sounds clear. Every time I touch you, I just want you to take a normal breath. Here from the front. Uh, we'll have you lay down to check your back a little later. Moving on to the joints. Just gonna make some motions with your arm here. Let me do it.
any pain with this? Um, no. Okay. Do the same thing on this side. Peeling down the joints. No pain there. No. Have you uh, do some resistance against me? So can you push me away? Any pain in the chest here with that? Mm, no. Okay. And pull me towards you. Good. Just the wrists. Oh, pull up and push. Good. Um, up like that. Very good. Very strong. Um, and again, no discomfort in the back or anything on the chest itself with that? No. All right. I'm going to um, be watching your respirations for just a minute. So I've got my light here. And I just want you for about 15 seconds to just close your eyes and just breathe normally, but breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. About four breaths. Looking for the rising and the falling of the chest wall. Looking for any concave reactions, anything like that. Okay. So you have normal inhales and exhales. No exaggeration. The air is basically not filling just the belly or just the chest. It's an overall um, motion, which is good. Got my reflex hammer here, and I'm just going to do the reflexes in your arms. So can you relax completely? I'm just going to come around the side here. Just give me all your weight. Perfect. And same thing on this side. Just relax. All right, Jeremy, so um, to complete the upper body exam, what I do need you to do is um, lay down so I can get to your back, all right? Okay. Jeremy, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna feel for temperature now that you're on your back. Temperature is fairly even. Are you feeling the joints? I'm just gonna palpate each rib here. Same thing, I've got just my reflex hammer. And I'm gonna just test for any pain. Nothing sharp, right? No sharp pains in the lungs? No. Okay. While I'm down here, I'm going to do the kidneys. Any pain with that? Um, no. And that's okay? Yeah. Great. Looking with my light, and I want to watch you. I know you're facing down, but if you can just take a couple of breaths. I want to just watch you take a couple of breaths. Good, and breathe out, and one more big one, and breathe out. 
going to just sort of squeeze your back here. And again, one more breath in. Good expansion and out. Good. Now I'm listening for that sound again. Say 99 when I touch you? 99. 99. 99. 99. Good. I'm going to take a listen. So again, you're going to feel very cold stethoscope. And just a normal breath in. Not It doesn't have to be particularly deep, but I do need a breath in. Again, lung sounds are clear. Tactile fremitus, negative. There was no pain. I've got just a little bit of a, a puff right here. Can you feel that down the arm? Mm -hmm. Just say yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 Okay. Which one uh, feels more sharp, this or this? The first or the second? The first um, or first. the second? Okay, what about now? The first or the second? Second. The first or the second? Second. First. Second. First. First. Out here. First. Second. Good. I don't know if you can feel the vibration um, on that spine here all the way down. So does that feel like bu buzzing? Mm-hmm. How about there? Yes. How about there? Yes. You still feel it? No. Okay. Do you feel it here? Yes. Okay. And up here? Mm-hmm. Okay. What temperature does that feel like to you? Cold. 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 Good. So sensation is intact. There's no issue with vibratory. Just take a quick look with my magnifying glass here to look for anything I might have missed. Again, I'm just watching the breath come in and out. We're seeing where the lungs are filling on the back. normally. So Jeremy, for the final part here, I am just going to do some measuring across the back. And then I'll have you sit up I'm um, doing just a little bit more range of motion um, while you're standing, okay?
take that deep breath in one more time for me. And out. So I'll have you um, sit up, put your shirt back on, and we're gonna do just a couple of things while you're standing up. Okay. All right, Jeremy, I'm gonna take a few of those measurements from the front now that you're standing up. Just measuring the chest here. And again, I'm gonna have you take a deep breath in for me. And exhale, really good lung capacity. That's six centimeters, that's excellent. Now let's do a couple of movements for me. I just wanna see how the body's working, so if you can go side to side. Any pain? Um, no. Okay, um, can you um, simply move uh, this way, side down, and this way? Okay, um, can you push Forward against my hand, good, and back against my hand, very good. I'm gonna have you swan dive all the way down, um, as far as you can sort of bend over comfortably. That's good, and I'm just feeling the back here. And can you come up one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow? Keep coming, coming. Any, besides just stretching and tension, any nerve pain or pulling with that? Uh, no. Okay. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and have a seat. I'll go over the results here. So this is a very good check-in. Um, I'm really glad that that chest discomfort has, um, has gone back to normal. Everything looks really healthy. Um, lung capacity is great. Lung sounds are clear, heart. Um, it has normal rhythm. So I think you um, have passed your six months checkup <laughs> here. Uh, so I think, you know, we can maybe do a year now, now that those issues are resolved. Does that sound okay? That sounds great. All right. So Jeremy, I've made these notes in the system here. I'll go ahead and enter them in my computer. I'm going to call us back if you need anything. Otherwise, uh, at reception, go ahead and schedule a year out. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.